another day, another hopeful yet sad KOTOR report coming from yours truly, Mr. Maddie. So, there was this Reddit thread, Obsidian was doing an AMA, and they started talking about KOTOR 3, and I'm getting all these tweets, all these pictures on all my social media channels, Maddie, Obsidian's talking about KOTOR 3, and I'm just sitting there like, no way, they're talking about it? That means something's going down, and I click on it only to receive such heartbreaking reality. Reality that I was already entirely aware of, but I just didn't want to see it quite yet. I wasn't emotionally prepared. And as we saw in the earlier skit, it's that Obsidian wants to work on the Star Wars license. They want to return to the galaxy far, far away and continue KOTOR like so many of us in this community want. But EA will not allow it. And sadly, Reddit user PDX Gruffa said it just right, because that rarely happens. It never happens where these companies wanna work on a specific license and they get it. The rare example we can think of is Fallout with Bethesda Game Studios. They wanted to work on it, Todd wanted it, and they went out and they bought it from Interplay. That is the one example I can think of in the recent years that actually was a developer going out and working on what they wanted by using money. Apparently, Obsidian in the past has pitched Star Wars projects to EA and LucasArts, and they have been denied for some reason. I don't get why. These guys have nothing but a good track record on games. You are guaranteed to make money from these people, but here I am with my hopes and dreams crushed yet again. Now, I'm doing this because it's almost like a journal for me, because one of these days when there is a new Star Wars RPG, I'm going to go through each of these videos separately and listen to my emotion and then realize just how glorious of a day it'll be when it comes, when there is a KOTOR 3 or a new Star Wars RPG or a KOTOR remaster or a remake, something along those lines, because it's been talked about so much. It's the only game title I hear that's talked about endlessly that people want to have remade, redone, brought back or something, but no one does anything. We've seen the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, talk about it. We've seen Obsidian talk about it. We've seen EA discuss it. We've seen so many people talk about this thing, but no one's doing anything. And I think part of the big reason for this, as I've mentioned many times, is because of the damn MMO. Because EA knows that there's a lot of money invested in that, and they don't want to lose that money. But yet, at the same time, I sit there and look at it and think, this isn't even what the Old Republic is about. The Old Republic universe is fantastic, and I think the MMO can capture that. But they don't properly do justice to what the Old Republic became known for, which was KOTOR. And it doesn't have to be Knights of the Old Republic. It could just be another, like I said, Star Wars RPG in that Old Republic universe. And Oh God, I'm getting flustered again, man. This sucks so much. And I just had to bitch and complain about it in a video because like I said, this, this channel is a lot of things, but one of them primarily is my KOTOR journal. This is my KOTOR journal and you are here on this journey with me. We are going to get this game one day. I, I just feel it. Maybe it's just hopelessness, just buried deep, but I, I feel like one of these days we're going to get something in the KOTOR universe and I want to celebrate that day with all you guys. So Here's hoping one of these E3s, EA comes out and announces a new Star Wars RPG of some kind because, ah, God, man, I don't know what's going to happen that day. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to transfer the news to you guys, get your thoughts on what's going on here, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. The links are, as always, in the description down below. Check out TriggerBomb.com, the place by Bethesda fans for Bethesda fans. Other than that, stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.